So it was recently announced that Apple has decided to start 3D printing some of their watches. And this isn't really new. A lot of companies produce 3D printed products. Amazon, Ford, Adidas makes shoes that are printed. But why do they do that? What are some of the competitive reasons that a company would decide to use 3D printing rather than traditional processes? In this video, we're going to go through why companies should choose to use 3D printing and what the advantages are to encourage them to try it out. So one of the most obvious benefits of 3D printing is just its distributed nature. We were just coming off of a pandemic, a lot of people had parts stuck in boats. Using 3D printing allows you to have a much more flexible supply chain because printers are a slightly more easy type of supply chain to get set up. Since they're a reasonably automated process, you are able to place a print farm or a set of machines basically anywhere in the world that can reliably produce the same parts regardless of where they are, and they don't require an entire factory to be built around them. Also, since they can produce parts on demand and do not require tooling or high levels of skilled labor once a process is set up, they make your supply chain a bit more robust. You don't have mold stuck in China and the molding company inside of the US, you just have 3D printers there, 3D printers here, and whoever makes the part first gets to make the part. The on-demand nature of 3D printing also reduces the capital expense of holding products. Since printers are reliably able to ramp up and start producing a product, you are no longer restricted to minimum order quantities. You are able to produce parts as you need them on a monthly basis or a quarterly basis or even like a weekly basis without having to rely on storing up inventory for like a Christmas rush or for your demand over the entire year. You're able to reduce the capital outlay and the inventory holding that you would otherwise have. Because in order to efficiently run a factory or an injection molding system, you have to hit minimum quantities. 3D printing has some of that, but those minimum quantities are much smaller. When we're doing mass production for clients, there are economies of scale, but you're allowed to order fewer parts or more parts. They're just gonna get more expensive the fewer of them you order, but you're able to make that choice. Whereas with like traditional injection molding, you have the cost of the mold and then the cost of the parts. But that upfront hump is still there and is a fixed cost that will always be the same regardless of how many parts you make out of it. So that's all of the supply and kind of business justification for using 3D printing and why many of these companies are experimenting with it and putting it into real products like Apple putting it into their Apple watches. But there's an engineering reason for it too. 3D printing is able to create geometries and parts that were never possible or never economical before. You're able to create things like an S hole through a brick. When would you need that? Maybe for a heat sink. A lot of aerospace companies have started using them for rocket nozzles in order to have flow in ways and areas that were never possible before, or to combine really complex multi-part assemblies into a single part. So again, you radically reduce your upfront expense because you don't have to create tooling for tons of different parts. You just have a printer for one single full assembly. So the impossible geometries is one engineering reason to do it, but then another engineering reason might actually be really thick, chunky parts. Parts that would have historically had to have been cast or machined from a block, which is both very wasteful and very capital intensive, can now be made additively and at scale. Something like this gear or pulley would historically be machined, but since 3D printing is able to build stuff up iteratively, it's able to make really thick, chunky, strong pieces, but use a minimum amount of material while still having a highly durable geometry. So you can go from a small gear like this that costs several hundred dollars to a large gear like this that is as strong, if not stronger, but lighter weight, more reliable, and much lower cost, even though it can still be produced at scale. So those are kind of the engineering reasons why these companies would start using these. 3D printing is a new process. It introduces new capabilities that have never existed before. So then if they also design the products explicitly for this process and the benefits that it allows, they're able to create products with new capabilities, new parts of performance that had never been possible before, which make them more competitive in the markets. 
So those are the main reasons that companies are using and exploring 3D printing and should explore it even more. It reduces the inventory in your supply chain. It makes it more robust. It gives you engineering benefits because you're able to create geometries that were never possible before and reduce the total number of parts inside of an assembly. And it creates a whole new market opportunity because you're able to create capabilities that were never possible before. It's like you're starting to use an iPhone when everybody else is using flip phones. Flip phones were great, but there's some new cool stuff you can do with a touch screen. So that's the reason folks should and currently are using 3D printing and certainly why organizations like Apple and Adidas are making real final products with 3D printing. Have a great day, everybody.